Today I'm going to share a lesson that is inspired by the stained glass windows of Frank Lloyd Wright. I love using this children's book, Moxie, um, by Kara Armstrong, which is from the perspective of this little dog and kind of goes through one of the properties that Frank Lloyd Wright designed, um, just to give the kids an introduction to him and his work as an architect. Then I like showing them examples of his stained glass windows. And today we're going to use a few products by Graphics to make our own stained glass windows. So the first product is Graphics Clear Lay, which is a vinyl film. And it's available in um, transparent, like totally clear, and also in transparent colors, including red, yellow, green, and blue. We're also going to use adhesive-backed Duralar, which is a film with a permanent adhesive backing. So the first step after viewing some of Frank Lloyd Wright's stained glass windows is for the artist or student to design their own with plain white paper and colored pencils. It's also great to put out a variety of shapes that the children can trace or just found objects, like I just used um, a sticky notepad for drawing my square, I used a ruler for my straight lines, and a roll of tape and some other random round object for a few different sized circles. Uh, you could also cut shapes out of cardboard for students to trace um, if that's simpler and more accessible. So once they have their design drawn, they will color in some of the shapes with colored pencils. This provides a plan so that once they go to the window, we're gonna make this project kind of at the window so the light can shine through and they can see how it is uh, inspired by stained glass windows as they work at the window. Um, the colored pencil drawing will be the plan or design for what will become the final project. Before you tape your colored pencil drawing to the window, or after you tape it to the window, but before you add the adhesive backed Duralar, it's a good idea to use some tracing paper and just trace your design so that when you begin cutting, you know how big the colored shapes need to be when you're cutting the tissue paper, origami paper, or clear lay. So once you're colored pencil design is complete, it, the next step is to tape it to the window. After that, you're going to get a piece of the adhesive backed Duralar and peel it open, and you will tape that on top of the colored pencil design with the sticky side facing you. So not don't let the sticky side touch the paper, it's gonna be facing out. So here I'm putting it just exactly where the paper is taped to the window and I'm going to add some tape at the bottom, probably on one piece on all four sides. So now our stained glass window is ready to be made. So the next step is to use the transparent uh, clear lay and whatever else you're using, um, tissue paper or origami paper, any kind of transparent scraps you have in your classroom or art studio, and you will cut them to match the shapes in your colored pencil design and then just place them on that adhesive backed Duralar and they'll stick. So I'm using, I traced my colored pencil design and I've been using it to cut out the shapes so that I can make sure the shapes are the right size and will match when I put them on the window. Um, so this is helping me as I cut. So I've cut most of my design from my cheat sheet, my tracing paper cheat sheet. And I laid them out here so I can see what all I have and what I'm missing. So I think I'll go ahead and attach some of these to the adhesive backed Duralar and then come back to my tracing paper and see what more I need to cut in order to finish my stained glass window. I've started placing my shapes 
onto the adhesive back Duralar and just lining them up with my design. The um, clear lay is easy to reposition, but I'm also using this origami paper and it really isn't, so I have to put it in the right spot. So now that I have this many shapes attached to the Duralar, I can revisit my tracing paper and see what else I need to add. is to close the stained glass window project with a sheet of the transparent clear lay, um, not a colored piece. You could use a colored piece, but I like to just use a clear piece. And that covers the rest of any remaining adhesive. And then you can take it off the window and um, trim the edges if you need to. Like I had this yellow piece was a little bit too big and the clear lay um, is a little different sized than what I was working with. So you can trim the edges. And then I like to seal the edges um, with a border of tape. You could use cute colored washi tape like this or whatever tape you have would work to seal the two, the front and back layer together.